Coast Day 3 here at the studio. Um, Dan and Wes are going to be tracking today. Just want to do a quick overview of this amp that I used yesterday. It's an Ampeg B15N. Very old school classic amp. I believe that I only used the channel 1. Which you can kind of see the settings here of what that was at. Our producer took my signal with this mic right here, actually, out of this 15, the Ampeg. Took a, a little bit more of a green signal from that. And then he actually mixed it with a signal coming from my... Actually, I'm going to show it. It's a little dark in here right now because no one's in here. We're not going to be tracking in here today. I'm going to try to go through their pedal, pedal buckets right there today at some point. But This is Studio One where we were recording the drums and the bass. And it's like I was saying, Frank... Frank Bones, our producer, recorded my signal coming out of that B15, the Ampeg B15, and he cut it with my <clears throat> DI, the DI coming out of my dark glass pedal, just to show you some of the levels that he had set right here. I think that these two knobs right here got moved at one point after we were done recording, but for the most part, we were actually having the distortion engaged, so that it was working as a really nice drive, helping bump some of the mids for that 15, and my ripper was being run in parallel, so... It was giving a lot of top end, not quite as much low end, I guess. I kind of like running it in parallel personally because it does give a little bit more of a trebly sound. And that way I can dial in as much bass as I want and not have to fight against that. So currently, whenever I play live, whenever we're practicing in the band room, what I actually tend to use is a combo of an SWR Son of Bertha, which is a 15 with a horn, and a SWR Goliath Jr. I believe I have a Goliath 3. But I tend to run those two together with my GK head. But I actually just run it straight through the return, and I use my dark glass as actually a preamp. We tried doing this last night, but my head was giving some noise, and my horns were giving some noise that was just unable to work with for record quality. So that's why we actually switched over to the Ampeg. And we were running through that. But the sound that came out was really, 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 really great, actually. And the way that he mixed it was absolutely perfect. Um, best way I could describe the sound of it would probably be Steve Harris when he plays live. Um, really interesting. And, like, it took me a while to come up with what the sound actually reminded me of and especially because I never even mentioned that I'm a fan of Iron Maiden Steve Harris that I want that type of tone it was really cool that he actually got that and captured that and that's what's going to be going on this new EP so just want to do a quick overview quick rundown like I said it's actually day three so we're going to be focusing a lot more on Wes and Dan today Eric and I are pretty much done and we're gonna be filming, we're gonna be hanging out. 
it's gonna be a nice couple of days. So we got a lot more content coming out for you guys. See you soon. Bye.